one of the craziest car collections I've ever seen. As you can tell, GT4 has just started off, but this collection is pretty much all black. A few red cars, a few other cars, but you got everything from all the special Porsches, McLarens, Lambos, and I'm going to take you through and show you what's around. Okay, hello. Yeah, I'm vlogging as well. We got TGE here Yay. from the UK. Vlogging. Weekend trip. Hi, how's it going? So, what do you think so far? What's your favorite car here? Uh, that's a uh, correct GT. I'm biased. Well, that's true. Okay, if let's say that car wasn't here, because I, I don't, you know, too biased. Hour. I agree with that. I like that. Or maybe this actually. This is pretty good, and it's a hypercar, but 911R. A little more 911R is made, but it's just more raw, more of a driver's car. This is super cool. It's a hypercar, but 911R is a car guy's car. Less batteries than a 911R. Exactly. I came up because I had something starting up. I think there's going to be RS. musical chairs up here in a second. Oh, so cars are going to move. Yeah, I'm going to get it from there. 765 LP Spider. Now we're left face to face with 918, nothing blocking it. Next to another great car, the Sport Classic GT2 RS. Just kind of the best Porsches here, and there's more downstairs which we're gonna go check out. As you can tell, this is a lift and not a floor. And 918, will it be on electric mode or are we gonna hear the startup? Good man, startup. So yeah, right now they're shuffling around some cars because they gotta pull out some cars from the basement, which I will show you guys. But look at this, STO 918 next to my GT4, 765 Spider. what a collection. Pretty much all special Lamborghinis, McLarens, Porsches. GT4 RS, you guys remember we did European delivery with one of these this summer. Turbo S, Aston Martin DBS. Let's keep looking, we gotta go downstairs because it's freaking sick down there. Yeah, the R8 Spider, you know, a Targa here, Targa there, Targa's everywhere, but yeah, kind of, you know, your regular supercars you're gonna drive. But here is one of my favorites, Aventador Ultimate. Honestly, these almost look like an S. You really have to know what you're looking at to get it, but this is the final Aventador SVJ Power. Cleaner look, because there's no arrow. I don't really like all the wings and everything on the SVJ. This is a lot nicer. Get all these little kind of indents on the seats to show it's an Ultimate, one of 250 rollsters, so the most rare variant of the Aventador, I believe. GT2 RS 992 Turbo S. And he said pretty much anything here that's not numbered. So where it will be the Targa, the R8s, the turbos, the GT2s is modified and is probably around 900 horsepower, 800 horsepower. But then you get the rare cars, something like the Sport Classic right here. You know, this is a very, very special car. It's numbered, it's unique. It's something they don't make very often. So this one stays stock because, you know, it's a very collectible car. But whereas this is the very collectible manual 911, these ones are a little bit more common. It's the GT3 Touring, so I'm sure this one has some stuff done to it. Of course, everything here is black, so they look kind of similar, but the ducktail looks incredible on the Sport Classic. Then even though it's very, very different from anything else in the collection, we've got the Eleanor GT500 right here. Kind of a recreation to tribute the Gone in 60 Seconds Mustang GT500. I hear something turbocharged, and that would be down this elevator right here. And what that is, is a new Ford GT. But before we go take a look at that, this car GT is special for so many reasons. One, it's black. So you really don't see a lot of them in black. And the interior apparently is a very different black from a regular car GT that you might see. But this specific car has got 51 kilometers on it. Car doesn't get driven, delivery mileage, original tires, original everything, preserved in the way it left the factory pretty much. And it's so cool to see. But let's walk down the stairs and take a look at more cars. So we have the 4GT getting ready to be set up to be on the elevator right here. And as soon as you go down the stairs, also 911R, this is such a collector's car. You know, this was supposed to be the last manual 911 you can get, but obviously they did the new GT3s and everything. But still, from what I heard, this car drives more raw than a GT3 Touring. It's rarer, it's more unique. I think it looks a little bit better. Such a special car, and people kind of forget this car exists. But yeah, the new 4GT right here on the lift is about to go up and it's leaving today. But then there's also the 06 Ford GT right next to there, the white with the blue, Z06, 991.2 GT3 RS. And the Ford GT is out and about, carbon wheels, carbon stripes. Gonna have to raise the lift for this. 
Oh, he made it. So the GT4 S outside, the Turbo S. Yeah, look at this driveway. Matte black NSX. Honestly, this thing looks so good in matte black. I love it. Then you got the matte PPF on this Targa. Matte black STO as well. And of course, star of the collection, the 918 next to my car and a nice 765 LT Spider. Six four GT is leaving. But yeah, we just saw the car coming up, and now this is what it looks like when the lift is gone. The 911 R looks so freaking good, just standing right there. The GT3 RS and the GT3 Portofino, and some JDM cars and muscle cars, along with the new Z06. And the four GT is back. Okay, TGE, it was nice seeing you today. Bye, everyone. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe if you're really unlucky. <laughs> <laughs>